Hello everyone, this is Victor Campos and we are continuing to use Twitter uh, for our business. At this point I have created an account, verified my email, and here I am ready to um, start to set up my account. So one of the first things I want to do actually is uh, make my profile my own. I want to make it unique. Right now my, my profile is very basic, but I want to edit my profile. So up on the top right, we have a gear, settings and help. I want to select that and edit my profile. People will take you more seriously if you have a fully uh, set up um, profile. So here's a, here's a few things that we can do. Um, photo, change your photo that identifies you on Twitter. So I believe I've got a photo somewhere. Um, that I can use for my business. I'll use the same one that I used for my Google Plus. This will be fine. So now I have a unique icon here. I don't look like the the newbie that I that I am. I can change my header image. I won't do that one. I don't have a picture ready, but that one uh, requires a nice big picture. Uh, your your name, enter your real name so people know you can recognize you. Again, this is your business name, location, and this can actually be anything. So you can even write the planet Earth if you want to be cheeky. But uh, I would recommend actually putting the location of where you're at. Website what's the website that you have and then bio well in 160 characters or less describe what your page is about so I'm gonna say um, San Diego's premier basically what I've got over on Google Plus premier um, um, homemade bakery homemade baked goods shop whatever you'd like you can connect Facebook to this so if you tweet something it will automatically also send it to Facebook I don't recommend that actually uh, you want to have original content to each of your platforms but in the beginning if you've got a lot to manage uh, this might be useful actually but I won't do it just yet I'll click Save Changes I also uh, have a couple of other spots that I can change. On the left side here, we've got profile, we've got design. If I select design, I can give myself a, a different background. If I don't like any of these built-in pictures, I can upload my own. That's fine for the moment. I can customize it by um, uploading my own picture, where will the background be visible, etc. Tile the background, change background colors, etc. Not too much to change here, but you can do some branding and have your own background picture. I'll save that. And uh, one more thing if I go back to profile tab, uh, notice it's also telling me now you can edit your photos. Now you can edit your photos. You can edit. Uh, you can edit your photos and bio within your profile. So there's my picture there. Other stuff, theme color, add a photo. Not going to really make any changes. What that did was when I clicked on uh, your profile, it also took me to my the me screen and again we'll look at what all of these screens are uh, this is what people will see when they go to my profile and right now I don't have any uh, any tweets I have a brand new profile and it recommends as a tradition to tweet to make your first tweet and we've got two possibilities or write your own uh, just to follow tradition I'm gonna select one of the original tweets just setting up my Twitter was the very first tweet by the founders of uh, Twitter so I'm gonna select tweet 
Nice. All of the tweets you write appear on your profile page. Your tweets also appear on your home timeline, as well as the home timelines of the people you follow. Um, so there's my first tweet. I've set up my profile a little bit more. Uh, I want to look at the different screens that my profile, my account is made out of, but that'll be on our next video. So on when you come back, we'll start to get acclimated to what Twitter has to offer.